Shalom. I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto the Heavenly Father, in the name of His begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushar, Ba'ashim, Arachakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopefully elect tabernacle of David. Now I'm reading through uh, the comment section of the video that I did, you know, getting on uh, Nate. All right, ambivalent Nate back at it again. And, uh, you know, I've been to see Apostle Tahar. He had left, uh, you know, one of the scriptures that I actually forgot to bring out in the lesson, which was the spirit. Proverbs 29 and 1. And, uh, you know, he posted uh, both translations, the KJV and the NLT. And uh, when I read the NLT, I was like, oh, man, that that's that right there. That 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 speaks. All right. And uh, it says it. You see it on the screen. It says Proverbs 29 and 1 in the NLT. Whoever stubbornly refuses to accept criticism will suddenly be destroyed beyond recovery. Now, Jake and Israel, because they still got the spirit of the world on them. You know, when you give Jake, you know, any type of constructive criticism, they like to interpret it as a uh, hatred. They say that, you know, you're hating, you know, you're showing hate towards your brother. You're the, you're, you're bringing division. But, uh, criticism is in hate. All right. The Lord instructed us to criticize, you know, those who sin, those who goes astray. All right. We got to pull them out of the fire because they're in the way of error and in the way of destruction. Nate is very stubborn, man, because how long could you be reproved for something? I mean, years after, you know, just year after year after year after year, and we got to constantly get on this guy for the exact same thing. That's that's complete stubbornness. And we know the scriptures say uh, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. All right. Which uh, in, in the lesson. Apostle looked up uh, in that verse for a uh, metal not with them that are given to change. Change meaning, you know, basically a, a person that's constantly rebelling. All right. He constantly rebels because of his pride being in the way, you know, because he's been, uh, you know, elevated. You know, he has a lot of yes men. You know, he gets a lot of praise from men. And, you know, that clouds your your your, your own self-judgment. You know, you become... um complacent you satisfy with yourself and that's and and, and those are the wrong ingredients because that's gonna you know bring forth failure man pride go before destruction and how do you look before a fall man you know uh, the lord told uh king saul through uh samuel that rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft and, st and stubbornness is as uh, idolatry. So, you know, this guy didn't turn, he, he didn't, he didn't became like an idol to these people. And now you can't say nothing to him. So that's, that, that's, uh, that's not a good look, man. I would be actually in fear if I'm constantly being reminded and constantly rebuked and uh, criticized for a particular thing. You know, but uh, hey, you know, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna add to this, you know, this uh precept that the apostle left, I'm actually add to it, because we know the scriptures say in uh was that Sirach, the uh, I believe it's the twenty first chapter. You know, brothers in Chicago call it skillful adding. Let me get that real quick. Yeah, so Rock 21 and 15, it says, if a skillful man hear a wise word, and that was a proverb that the apostle left, you know, uh, a proverb from uh, the wisest king that lived, King Solomon, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding care of it, it is pleased of him and he cast a fit behind his back. And that's somebody that's uh, stubborn and, and stubborn and, and stiff necked. You don't even want to hear it. You know? 
You don't want to take that advice. Well, that means that you really don't have the level of fear that you need to have. All right, was that Sirach uh, 32? And verse... Uh, 17, a sinful man will not be reproved, but finding an excuse according to his will. A man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, even when of himself he have done without counsel. Do nothing without advice, and when thou hast once done, repent not. All right, and, and you know, when we do these lessons, correcting these dudes, you know, it's out of love. It's not out of malice. You know, we're, to, we're we're giving you sound advice from the Heavenly Father, man, sound counsel. But these guys, you know, they're not daunted with fear, man. You know, so, you know, it's, it's going to catch up with them later. Because, you know, once the Lord gets to you, then, you know, there's nothing you can do. The Lord already tried. He's long suffering. He's, he's patient. Year after year after year after year after year of constantly, you know, getting on guys for the exact same thing. You know. So uh, let me get a, a, a quick pre. Because this is how Israel always moved. Second Chronicles 36, and I'm going to start at verse 13. Is uh second chronicles thirty six. Y'all start at verse uh, eleven. You're dealing with uh Zedekiah, right? Zedekiah was one and twenty years old when he began to reign and reigned eleven years in Jerusalem, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord his power, and humbled not himself before Jeremiah the prophet, speaking from the mouth of the Lord. You know, and, and you know the apostles, the you know, the bishops, the brothers, you know, They'll, they'll speak and, uh, you know, reprove certain guys in Israel and people don't receive it because they really don't look at us as, you know, uh, prophets. Like we don't get that, you know, kind of respect, which the Lord, he had it, he, he, he had it spot on when he said a, a prophet is not without honor except, you know, by his own countrymen, his own people. Right. So, you know, Jeremiah, despite being a prophet of the Lord, he wasn't being received. And they were not humbling down to his words, even though it was the Most High speaking through him. It says, and he also rebelled against King Nebuchadnezzar, who had made him swear by the Most High power, but he stiffened his neck and hardened his heart from turning unto the Lord power of Israel. Moreover, all the chief of the priests and the people transgressed very much after all the abominations of the heathen and polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hollowed. In Jerusalem and the Lord power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place and the Lord is showing compassion now and every time we get on these dudes that's the Lord showing compassion he's trying to refrain from doing something to these guys man so he's constantly warning and, 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 and speaking to us and there's certain times when We'll get on them. We won't even, you know, say that, hey, man, the Lord's going to kill you. Whoop -de -whoop. We'll just be like, no, you went off on this. You went off on that. You know, we'll give these guys credit when we do hear them say some truth. And then there's been times when we've been like, hey, man, if you don't get it together, the Lord is going to kill you. You know, so there's various ways the Lord get through to people. And it's, and it's on you if you're going to humble down and, you know, perceive that it, it is possibly the spirit of the Lord trying to correct you right but uh you know jake just can't humble down so this is what happened it says but they mocked the messengers of the most high and despise his words you know just like they do now you know we get mocked taunted they despise what we say they make response videos calling us bums and this and that and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. You know, basically, ain't nothing you can do now. The Lord's done talking. You know? Now, what the Lord's getting ready to do to you now, you can't even recover from. 
You see? And the Lord, we already know what the Lord allowed happen. All right, with Jerusalem, Nebuchadnezzar, he he rode on uh, Jake, man. Should have listened to the, to the prophets. So our fear constantly being reproved all the time, especially for the same thing. All right, that would that would be weighing on my conscience, man. And what is the Lord trying to show me? But if you're that stiff-hearted, man, ultimately because the Lord, you know, he, he's doing that to you. You know? The Lord got a lying spirit upon you that's uh, stronger than you. You know? So, yeah, that, that's a scary thing, man. Now, let me get another quick pre. This ain't going to be a long video. This is just uh, me responding to uh, the, the scriptures that the apostle left in the uh, comment section. Uh, Isaiah 48 Yeah and one it says Hear ye this O house of Jacob Which are called by the name of Israel And are come forth Out of the waters of Judah Which swear by the name of the Lord And make mention of the God of Israel But not in truth nor in righteousness There's a lot of dudes in Israel They represent Israel Okay Some of them even know the name of the Lord But when they do it, it's not in truth, it's not in righteousness. Dudes got ulterior motives. You know, they're not being sincere. For they call them they call themselves of the holy city and stay themselves upon the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth. How? By the, by by who? Who do, who do the Lord speak through? His prophets. So Israel always will know. And I shoot them. I did them suddenly. And they came to pass. Because the Lord, he's, he's not a God that he should lie, man. All right. The thing that he spoke, it shall prosper whereunto he sent it. It will accomplish what he pleases. It will not, his word will not go out void. All right. And we're seeing, you know, various things happen in the spirit. All right. Right now, the, the MOTB is being manifested. They're promote. They're openly promoting it now. All these different uh, companies and stores, they're adopting the technology now. They're setting the stage. It's, 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 it's completely clear at this point what these devils are doing, what they've been telling you that they're going to do. The Lord is putting the spirit on them to announce to you what they're doing. So it's actually coming to pass, man. But you still, uh, you know, turning a blind eye to it. And that's either because the Lord literally blinded the hell out of you or you took the money so you're acting like you don't see it. Which shows that, you know, those of you that did sell out, you know, you serve mammon and not the most high. It says, because I knew that thou art abstinent. You know, when I read, when I came across that term, I was like, damn, that's why the apostles used to call, call him stiff neck Nate. And yeah, you know, we we try not to, you know, call other guys' names. You know, the Apostle Gabar, you know, did a lesson years ago. Let's refrain from using ad homonyms. But come on, man. You sometimes they play right into these names that <laughs> the Apostles uh, give them. If it, it, it really it literally fits their character, man. Nate, he's he's been, you know, stuck for all this time now. You know. And his name is Nate, right? Well, hey, I, I think you could call him obstinate. Because that's what he's being. He's being obstinate. It says, and thy neck is an iron sinew and thy brow brass. You look up obstinate. And it says, uh, hard, cruel, severe, obstinate, hard, difficult. Yeah, dude being difficult, man. And he and he and they 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 make it known that they watch our videos. Brothers make it plain, man. But Jake wanna he wanna he wanna be difficult about it. Severe, fierce, intense, vehement, stubborn, stiff of neck, stiff necked. You know? Obstinate. So hey. Can, can we call you obstinate? Cause that's what that's what you're being right now, man. 
All right. It says, I have even from the beginning declared it to thee before it came to pass. I shooed it thee. All right. Because we, the Lord wrote these visions down through his prophets. All right. And, you know, we've been breaking it down. Now it's actually starting to happen. But the Lord showed it, you know, before it came to pass. Lest thou shouldest say, my idol have done them, and my graven image and my molten image have commended them. Thou hast heard, see all this, and will you not declare it? I have shewed thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didst not know them. They are now, it's like yeah, they are created now, and not from the beginning. All right, like the MOTB. That wasn't from the beginning. That the 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 MOTB did not exist during the time of uh, Cain. All right, it's 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 a new thing. All right, it says even before the day when thou heardest them not, lest thou shouldest say, Behold, I knew them. Yeah, thou heardest not. Yeah, thou knewest not. Yeah, from that time that thine ear was not opened. For I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously and was called a transgressor from the womb. All right. And that's Jake for you, man. Here, the Lord knows that you're not going to hear because you are a stiff necked and rebellious house. So that's why a lot of Jake is not going to make it, man. So. You know, these are just, uh, you know, additional scriptures to add with that. All right. He that that hate of reproof. Let me, let me get that one, too. Proverbs 15 and 10, a correction is grievous unto him that forsake of the way and he that hate of reproof shall die. And that's scripture, man. So, you know, I, I'll, I'll definitely be in fear if God is constantly getting on me and, and, and showing through various breakdowns, various updates, various articles, information, all that. And you still can't get it. You still just going to be stubborn and just do it your way. All right. You know. But anyway, um, you know, Lord willing, you know, this was uh, edifying as well. All right. You don't want to be an individual that that do not like criticism or, uh, you know, to be corrected. All right. Because it's really, you know, rebuke is, is a is an ointment. You know, it's like a medicine, man. All right. So anyway, with that, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. Shalom.